Hey everyone! Hello! Do you feel awkward and robotic when dancing with a partner? Yeah, and you are transported back in time at high school doing a robotic grade eight shuffle. <laughs> at arms like the bikes. <laughs> well, in this video, we're gonna give you three tips on how you can make your dancing more natural. Exactly, and for those of you who would love to follow a proven system that's helped hundreds of couples go from cringeworthy to confident, whether they're dancing at their weddings or any other event around town, well, stay to the end of this video. We're going to show you how you can learn directly from Joel and Clara. And also apply for our free beginner masterclass. So let's get ourselves started. Tip number one is take smaller steps. So very often when we start working with beginner couples, they're excited about doing side basics and they just charge into them and they end up kind of looking like this. Yeah, they're taking some side basics and they're really showing us that they're doing them. Yeah, which is awesome. But at the same time, the size of steps are just too big. That's right. When we're doing partner dancing, the key is connecting with each other and having an intimate moment. And if you're taking these big athletic steps, <laughs> we're not really feeling the, the, uh, the, you the know, connection, the, connection exactly. the mood, the mood of the music. It's more of like an exercise class than it is a dance together. <laughs> exactly. So when you guys are now leading your partner, yeah, keep in mind, maybe you're a lot taller than her as well. Keep in mind that the steps should be comfortable and much smaller. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Guys always seem to have these large side steps. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. I can do this. <laughs> and you really need to kind of feel what is going to be comfortable for the lady. Mm -hmm, exactly. So when in doubt, err on the side of making your side basic much smaller. Tip number two is modify your tap to suit the music. So when couples start dancing together and they're doing a side basic action, it's very natural for them to do a side and then a tap which is perfect because it matches the boom chick of the music or the one, two beats. And if you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about, here's a link to a video that we did all about musicality. So let's show you what Joel's talking about with that side basic action. Mm -hmm. So we're going side tap, side tap, or boom chick, boom chick. Yeah, so we're transferring weight on the first boom and tapping on the chick. Yeah, one, two, one, two, or, or boom, boom, chick, chick boom, boom, chick. chick. <laughs> yeah, nice, Clara. Good work. boy. Yeah. So a lot of times when people are now thinking about the side and the tap, they try to overemphasize the tap. And that's where it gets a little bit weird and a little bit awkward. Yeah, especially when you have something that is moody and romantic, something that you want to connect together with. Sometimes the tap gets a little too much. So <laughs> we're going to show you what that looks like. Yeah. So again, we're doing a nice romantic piece of music and we're really trying to tap one <laughs> tap one tap and that's what makes it look quite awkward and robotic exactly so our tip for you when we're doing a slower romantic moody song is to just slide the foot slightly instead of picking it up and tapping it all the way over that's right so now we're modifying that tap to suit the music mm -hmm. so if we're going to show you guys what that looks like it's going to be side and there's a slide side slide side slide yeah and hopefully you'll see that your foot doesn't necessarily have to touch the other foot mm -hmm. it can just come in with the transfer of weight yeah and that makes it look much more natural yeah now we're sliding the feet and we're saying don't tap it so much but that's not the rule for all music so if you find yourself actually dancing to a real rambunctious piece of music and it's really rhythmical and the percussion is really going strong. Yeah, something with a strong beat and it's a little more upbeat. Yeah, then you should tap and go for that tap. <laughs> yeah, so it'll kind of look like this actually. So if it's really fun, like a rock and roll, sometimes country, or even just pop music and it's really going. Yeah, yeah and you'll see that we're actually taking our foot and almost tapping and touching the other foot. Exactly, because we are feeling the music. Again, we're letting the music dictate what we do for the tap, mm -hmm. yeah? Now, we've talked about sliding the feet for a slight tap. We talked about being aggressive 
for a strong tap, but sometimes no tap is the best all alternative. That's right, especially for very slow music. Yeah, we're talking really Super slow people. Super slow, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where the tap is almost like, well, I, I have to transfer really slowly and then tap. It's almost better in those situations to just transfer to the other side. Yeah, without right away. tapping. Yeah, so if we now demonstrate that, it's kind of like this. One, two, one, two, yeah, or no need boom, for a tap at all. Chick, boom, chick. If we did that now with a tap or even a little bit of a slide, it'll look like this, and you'll see what we mean by it being a little bit awkward now. Boom, chick, boom, chick. It's just so slow on <laughs> two, one. Oh, it's like pulling tappy. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, so if we go one, two, one, two, it just makes it so much easier yeah. and less awkward because we're still moving and we're still going slow, but we are respecting the speed of the music. Yeah, it flows a lot better that way. So leads, you kind of have the responsibility to modify that tap, slide or no tap according to the music and follows, we need to just respond to that. Mm -hmm. So we want to be synchronized in our actions one is going to tap, then the other's got to tap. One doesn't tap, then the other doesn't tap, <laughs> or vice versa, yeah? That's so right. just keep that in mind and have fun and be less awkward with that tip. Before we go on to tip number three, we want to hear from you. If you're confused about any, any particular song, whether to tap or not to tap or to slide, <laughs> put the song in the comments below and we'll help you out. Exactly. Yeah, we want to hear from you guys and we want to help you guys, yeah? So on to some more help. Tip number three is learn to lean. So often beginner dancers are so concerned about their steps, they're not thinking about what's happening with their body. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna show you what they typically come in and look like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they'll take hold and they're doing their step tapping and maybe they got the tap sorted out, but nothing is happening <laughs> above. Yeah, you can see our torso is not even moving. There's nothing happening. <laughs> yeah, I am a, a zombie. And that's what makes it look awkward and robotic. Yeah, exactly. So let's get rid of that roboticness and that awkwardness by adding a little bit of lean or sometimes dancers will call this sway. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And really what it comes down to is leaning slightly in the direction where you want to travel. Yeah, so we're gonna lean and kind of go in that direction, lean and go in that direction. And that already starts to make things a lot more fluid, a lot more natural, because if you think about it, when we go, whether it's sports or even just in daily life, we're not just gonna walk around <laughs> like really a robot. stiff. When we go, we will lean a little bit, for instance, forwards to walk, and then we'll get ourselves walking. Yeah? And it's, of course, a lot more aggressive if you're playing sports because you have to be more explosive and active. But it's the same thing for dancing, it's just more calm yeah and if you've seen any of our other videos the lean or that sort of body weight shifting forward or backwards or sideways is a great heads up for the lady as to how to follow and respond exactly so if now i take clara into dance position and i want to do my step to my left instead of just going and taking that step and not giving her any preparation what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little bit of a lean and then she ends up going, yeah? Let's take it from this other direction so we can see what's happening now to Clara. Yeah, Joel's gonna lean and then we take the step. Then I'm gonna lean, then we take the step. Yeah, it's great because then I know which direction he wants to go into. Mm -hmm. When you're starting and you haven't even started dancing yet, I have no idea which foot he's gonna start with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no prescribed kind of like, hey, Start on your right foot, will yeah. you? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but if he leans, then I'll naturally lean with him and respond to that. And then I know I'm going to take that foot first. Exactly. So be really clear that we will lean prior to the step. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the sequence. Lean, then take the step. And of course, there's some musicality involved into it. And again, check out that musicality video where we talk about anticipating the, be the beat and understanding the rhythm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So keep in mind that we are going to unlock our bodies, get less robotic by actually communicating direction. Yeah, so there's both benefits to that. I communicate to my partner, Clara is now dancing with me, and I look much better and also feel much better dancing. Yeah, it's more fluid, it's more smooth, and there's more happening. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you tired of DIYing your dancing and looking around town for a studio or a teacher that is a good fit for you? Well, save yourself some time, money, and energy and just book a call with us, Joel and Clara. It's going to be a nice, casual, fun chat. <laughs> Tons of laughs because that's just what we do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You guys already know us. You're already comfortable watching our videos. So we want to get to know you guys as to what is standing in your way between and dancing, whether it's at your wedding or just around town. That's right. We've worked with hundreds of couples, couples all over the world with our online program. Again, the link is down in the description below. So click that link and we'll get ourselves connected. And for those of you who want to have a little bit more information from Joel and Clara, there's also a link below where you can join our free beginner masterclass. And if you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks very much again for watching, you guys. Have fun dancing together. We'll see you guys soon.